Hi, this is Soft Cell Electrical, and I am your host, John. Welcome to episode number 14 in the Electrical Test Prep Series. Okay, this is part 2 of section 220. We're going over load calcs for a single dwelling unit. And we're just going to go over page by page, and as we go over the pages, I'm going to explain them. Using a typical house, we're going to say that it's 2,000 square feet. Using table 220.12, you take the square footage of the residence and multiply it by 3 volt amps. That gives you 6,000 volt amps. Now, you got to have the two small appliance circuits added in there, which is 252-A, which gives you 3,000 volt amps. Now we go on and we include the laundry circuit 252-B which is considered 1500 volt amps for your washer. That gives you a total wattage of 10,500 volt amps or watts. Going to section 2 using table 220.42 demand factors in section 1 the volt amps came to 10,500. The table dictates that only the first 3,000 volt amps will be rated at 100%. The remainder of the volt amps will be calculated at 35%. That's very low. The 7,500 volt amps will be multiplied by 35% resulting in an adjusted volt average of 2,625 volt amps. This gives you a total value of 5,625 volt amps to use in section 2 of coming up with the total. Next, if it has sections, you'll probably have a section 3. And section 220-54 tells you that a clothes dryer is rated at 5,000 volt amps. Generally, the minimum amperage required for a full-sized range is 40 amps. However, in almost all new homes, ovens are provided with a 50 amp circuit. So, when you're doing your load calcs for full sized ovens, 12,000 volt amps should be used as the standard load calc. So, the total wattage for section 3 is 17,000 volt amps. Now, the next thing we come up to is FAUs or forced air units which are always calculated at 1500 volt amps when gas is the source of the heat. Air conditioning units are rated solely on faceplate ratings so we'll just use 50 amps for calculation purposes. That's 12,000 volt amps for the AC unit. So for the HVAC which is the heating and air conditioning forced air unit, the whole package we come up with 13,500 volt amps. Section 5 is like a pickup list for the things that have to be dedicated but aren't always listed on the load calcs but they're required in the code book. So dishwashers are typically 1200 volt amps. Uh, garbage disposals are about 840 volt amps. Mounted microwave ovens are always 1500 volt amps. Now here's an important thing to remember. Don't leave anything blank on your load calculation application. If you don't have it, just write none and then put in zero volt amps. So no trash compactor, zero volt amps. Water heater is gas, zero volt amps. I'll tell you this, if you do use a water heater, um, rate it at 30 amps, but I left it out here. And then other, there is none, so that's zero. So total volt amps for part five is 3,540. Section six is not on all load calc applications. If it is, then it is for miscellaneous stuff, like motor loads or a hot tub, maybe a steam room, casita, which is a guest house, or a work shed that's wired. In this case, section 6 will be 0 volt amps. Final calculations will be the addition of parts 2 through 6. 
since 1 is only used as an adjustment value of the 35% minus the first 3,000. So the total demand is 39,665 volt amps or watts. Now for amperage load, use this formula. 39,665 watts divided by 240 volts. That gives you 165.2 amps. The amperage demand for this house is 165. I would recommend a 200 amp panel for the correct size of this house. That basically is how you fill out a load calculation application. Well, that just about wraps up this episode. Thanks for watching and have a great day.